Hey guys, Michael from Concrete Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be covering how to calculate density. So density is, the equation for density is mass divided by volume. So typically mass is going to be measured in grams, and volume can be measured in milliliters, centimeters cubed, or even liters. So the units for density for a solution or liquid typically is grams per milliliter or grams per centimeters cubed. Milliliter and centimeters cubed are interchangeable. And then typically the unit for density of gases is grams per liter. All right, now let's take a look at two example problems to see how we can calculate density using this equation. We have a block of aluminum that occupies a volume of 15.0 milliliters and weighs 40.5 grams. What is its density? So we're given the volume and we're given the mass. So we can just plug into the equation. Density is equal to the mass this is in grams, 40.5 grams, divided by the volume, 15.0 milliliters. Plug that into a calculator and we'll get 2.70 grams per milliliter. Three sig figs here, three sig figs here, so our final answer should have three sig figs. Let's take a look at something that's a little bit more, more interesting, a little, a little bit more difficult. We have 28.0 grams of iron, so we have the mass right here and is added to a graduate cylinder that originally contains 45.5 milliliters of water and then the water level rises to 49.1 milliliter when we add the iron. So based on this information, calculate the density of the iron. So we have the mass of the iron, we don't have the volume of the iron yet, but we have the volume before we added the iron and then the volume after we added the iron. So the difference of the volume is just the the volume that the iron takes up. So the volume of the iron is going to be the, the difference 49.1 minus 45.5 and that will give you 3.6 milliliters. Then now that we have the volume and we have the mass we can just plug it into the density equation. So density is going to equal 28.5 grams divided by 3.6 milliliters, which is going to come out to 7.9 grams per milliliter. We have two, three sig figs here and two sig figs here, so our final answer should have two sig figs. So that was just a quick, a quick explanation of how to calculate density and two short example problems to show how it's, it's, uh, it's calculated out. And hopefully that makes a lot more sense now. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry. If you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.